Okay, I'm here with a Western plow blade. Ah, uh, zoomed in. That is the serial number of that particular style. Um, what I had experienced is that it wouldn't go left or right, or it only go one direction. I followed many of the things online saying that uh, to bleed it, you just move the plow left and right uh, all the way back and forth, and then you go up and down a bunch, and you press this all the way down once you do that as well. Uh, still couldn't get that to work, so what I ended up having to do is I actually took off the lines down here at the bottom for each of the bottom of the rams. There was a ton of moisture and sludge in it. Um, so yeah, take each one of those off and uh, you can freely move it. Just make sure you don't draw in the air when you move it from one side to the other. You have to move it all the way to the left, then you do one line at a time, move it all the way to the right, do the other line. Um, anywho, so yeah, fill valve there, fill hole. Your fill, your overfill hole is right there. Now, the other aspect of this is once I got all the lines replaced and primed by going left and right, uh, right here is uh, the two bleeder valves that you can manually do if, if the uh, automatic version is not working where you can just move left and right. What you do is you push one side all the way in, you open up the valve for, the, uh, for that side, and then you move it to the right. Do that until fluid squirts out. Sometimes uh, it'll squirt out quite a bit once you get all the air pushed out, but that's the most, that's the fastest way of getting the air out. Now it will work just fine. Just make sure you fill your fluid. Um, after each time you do this, and take that out, take that out, and fill it until fluid comes out of that hole. Pretty simple, guys. But yeah, uh, what you actually do is you, um, and I'll, I'll write this in the video link as well, step-by-step -step process, but if you can remove that piece, then you push this all the way in, and then the other side of the valve, make sure you put your thumb over it or get a good seal on it so you don't suck air in. Then you push it the other way, uh, and that will push the air out of the system as long as you make sure you're not drawing the air back into it when you do that. Um, it did work, and now we're back in business.